<laughs> hey, what's up? We are back with some more Gala Hell Part Dos. And we are going to start. What is it? Charging the Halo. Which sounds like it just gives you new powers by the thing. Blast or stomp, and we're gonna start with summon. Let's get this shit done. Abandoned ship, we've been boarded. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so we're here with Blackbeard. What weapon to use? Oh yeah, by the way, off screen I went collecting clusters and fucking weapons and all that. Because I don't think anyone would want to see that. Warm, repetitive, and tedious. What Who's left game? now? I don't even know. I thought I was Might be a lot. Where the fuck's that one going? I'm in the back. Okay, we got him. I got a bit of treasure oh, in that oh chest over there. The weapon you find inside may help with our little imp problem. Let's have a gander then. Let's have a fucking gander. What the fuck Ooh. is that thing? I like it already. It's got fucking eyes. It's a hand. It reminds me that one time I oh, did So I think, yeah, this video is amazing. I'm gonna see how many powers I can get within the time. Hopefully we can get more. We can get more stuff than this. Just like the old days. Hopefully we can get more. Then it's I summoned these now. imps to serve as my crew. I forgot what a handful they could be. Once aboard, they wouldn't listen to their captain. They ran amok in the bowels of the ship. But Jesus. What pirate voice would that be? Wow. Am I done? Zinyat's destruction of Earth had a profound impact on the afterlife. To heaven, it was a logistical nightmare. Saint Peter's meticulous nature drove purgatory wait times to unbearable levels. Meanwhile, in hell, where souls in pain were used as currency, it created a new era of prosperity for the wickedly enterprising. This economic boom resulted in the coffers of hell to be overflowing, which in turn piqued the interest of the most notorious man that sailed the Seven Seas. Long had Blackbeard been a thorn in Satan's side, robbing tax collectors on a semi-regular basis. But the promise of an immeasurable fortune drove him to be even bolder. An arrangement was reached. Blackbeard would provide information on strategic targets in exchange for a share of the profit. Johnny, who was interested in murder, not money, happily agreed. The artwork for the cutscene. Grant ye cool. the ability to summon my crew whenever they're needed.
summon. <laughs> Fucking him, same. Sounds like Gimp. I'm going to call him Gimp for the rest of the game. Uh, we can do the tutorial, but I think I might just do that off screen because the tutorial of what it does, it's essentially... Why did I do that? It's essentially just... That. I raided the Centropole office. Found information. But now we'll go collect Stomp. And where's the president? Being kept. Evidently, they've been trapped in so some blab, sort of bitches. soul crystal that's inside Tinker's palace. Breaking in is an impossibility. I'll more off screen as well to to continue to try to draw us out of this barracks. We're gonna need them. So. It's insanely fast to get around the map as soon as you get used to the fire. I mean, look at that. We're almost there. Oh, see that? See that for Dolgin? That's fucking expertly done. Wow. Oh. Oh, man. The door should have been open then. So, which character is this? Note to self. Find a way to control the light. Let's play. What's the move? Lights up. William Shakespeare, humanity's greatest playwright. And hell's most diabolical purveyor of entertainment looks on as a brave mortal on an Orphean quest enters. The bard's interest is piqued, and he looks to test his visitor's mettle. The masked tragedies were used to enemies towering as they approached, but soon they realized that they faced a foe with courage and nobility. Traits uncommon in the fires of perdition. Yeah. Hold on, Gim. The inciting incident resolved. The time had come for rising action. The battle raged on yeah. below, and as bullets and blood flew, the bard arched a curious eyebrow. Could this mortal be the exact thing that Shakespeare missed? Oh, come on. Resolved. Shakespeare eagerly awaited meeting the champion that dispatched so many of his men. Undoubtedly, they were here for the bard's aid. And while happy endings were not a thing found in hell, Shakespeare always had a soft spot for comfort. Whatever. In the land of the living, 
William Shakespeare is regarded as one of the most prolific playwrights of all time. However, to the denizens of hell, the bard is seen in a far different light. After selling his soul for fame and adoration, Shakespeare served in hell as Satan's spy master general. In doing his duty, Shakespeare would punish the souls he was investigating by forcing them to perform in grotesque passion plays for Satan's amusement. But in a Twelfth Night-esque twist, Shakespeare found himself living a double life. While he projected an image of cruelty, his heart was as soft as Jezebel's. In secret, he would tutor her on the classics and act out the works of his mortal days. When Satan found out, he cast Shakespeare out of the palace, believing that the poet would be tormented by the populace of hell, far out of Jezebel's sight. But Satan had not counted on the bard's cunning. Embracing his persona of master torturer, Shakespeare and his followers, the tragedies, took root in the entertainment district, biding their time for revenge. Indeed. Oh, so that's why I just Quite an interesting twist, wouldn't you agree? And so Shakespeare called forth the deus ex machina to bestow our protagonist with the arcane power of force stop. Find and kill Dex? Finally. They took a while to put that fucking in the game. One more for the collection. Okay, fine. I love it! I think Stump was one of the main ones I used in Saints Row 4 all the time. Obvious reasons. Fucking badass as fuck. Alright, let's go. Slap them wang. Come on. We're almost there. No, we're not, but. We get in there. The environments are actually pretty cool. I mean, look at that building. Look at it. Look at it all. Are you looking at it? Alright, where am I? I wonder what happens. Oh, wait, yeah. <laughs> I remember what happens when you go in the lava. Oh, no, right out of stamina. What the fuck's happening? Oh, there we go. Well, that worked, so. Is the prison in hell? I thought hell was meant to be just one big prison. So what the fuck is prison like? Is it like ten times worse? Oh my god, it is ten times worse. That's a fate worse than death. Alright, now let's kick ass. What weapon do you use? Well, if they wanted to torture you, why'd they use the short version? This the short version? Oh, yeah. The wife is on the bus. Go switch, switch, switch. The whole war on the bus goes. My mom had like 80 of them. Where's the guy? 
man. Oh, God damn. Let me see if I can... Oh, no. okay, we oh my God, I'm almost dead from that one thing. Let us return to my castle, where we may plot our next steps in proper surrounds. Indeed. Johnny led Vlad back to his castle, which since his incarceration became a haven for frat parties and squatters. But the systematic impaling of trespassers would have to wait. Vlad was a man of his word, and was eager to provide intel that could aid in hobbling Satan's armies. What spells are you gonna give me? I bestow upon you the Stygian cold fire. Aurora. You can now charge your body. Cold fire. I don't think that makes any sense, but okay. Let's have a look at it. Oh, so I think it, I can't remember what it was called in Saints Row 4, but it's like when you go near people, they, um, they get like the element that you're flowing through your veins or some shit. So like say cold fire, I take it, that's probably ice and fire, so it's fucking tank actually. Let's see what these things can do. Wow. See, I don't, that's pro there, that's huh? fucking amazing. Bet you can't do that. Alright, so I think we should have enough to, um, to get the final power. Hopefully. We're standing in a parking garage. I don't like it either, but Centerpool isn't giving us many options. I can't believe they tried to force us out. I can't believe you forgot the mimosas. I think we have bigger problems. I don't think you realize how much I love mimosas. I can't Very help great. but notice. Mimosas. The people are trying to kill you. Yeah, they're really big on that here. What did you do? Is now really a good time? We can wait until we're done shooting people. Well, I'm great at multicast. Remember when we offered you a deal on that airplane and you responded by killing everyone? Yeah. It's like that, but worse. Oh, so you have to wait for the other to reach God, that's so oh, bad. Bingo. What's the point in everything? know that Kinsey misses you. Really? That's so sweet. Who's Kinsey? You remember Kinsey. She was that hacker that Matt Miller hated. Isn't she crazy? You know, she really grows on you. Oh. 
of success. Damn. Hell yeah. Shaboom. What? Can we get it? Shit. Oh my god. <laughs> Also, a dead. Uh, let's get you two back to Dane. Hooray! After being reunited in hell, Kiki and Viola wasted no time in doing what they do best facilitate the running of businesses. However, the De Winter sisters' success did not sit well with other would be power players in hell. The sisters' operations all came under attack at once, forcing them on the run. Soon, the twins found themselves on the receiving end of an offer they couldn't refuse. After all, it was better to own one-fifth of something than to be dead. Alright, so... We got you helped all us. Cows. Now let us help you. Here's a little something made popular by another group of sisters, the Gorgons. Blades. I remember that from, from the fourth one. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't be asked to do that. Shit. Sweet. How much have we pissed off? Them. Eh, not enough yet. So I think I'll end the video there. Like and subscribe if you want to see more. And I'll see you in the next one. Yum, 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 yum. Bye.